In this video, we're going to add or subtract trinomials. So we'll do example one here, example two, and then example three. Okay. So let's start with example one. Please write it down. We got to subtract 3x squared minus 4x minus 7 from x squared plus 7x minus 1. Okay. So what does this mean? What would you do if I gave you just a couple of simple numbers like this? Subtract 10 from 30. What would you do? Subtract 10 from 30. You would start with the, what would you subtract from what? Would you start with the 30 and subtract 10, right? So if we say subtract this thing from this thing, which is subtracted from what? So this guy is going to be subtracted from here. Does that make sense? So he's subtracted from there. So we're going to subtract this guy. This guy's being subtracted. So if we subtract him, um, you're going to subtract not just the 3x squared, but the, you got to subtract the entire thing. Got to subtract the entire 3x squared minus 4x minus 7. Okay? You're subtracting the whole thing. And that means that, in fact, the subtract sign needs to be distributed to everything because we're subtracting the 3x squared, we're also subtracting a negative 4x and we're subtracting a negative 7 you see, so we're subtracting negatives so in a way you can think of it as like we're subtracting that we're subtracting a negative 4x, we're subtracting a negative 7 okay so if you do it that way you'll be subtracting 3x squared but negative negative is going to make positive, you'll be adding 4x negative negative makes positive you'll be adding seven so that's the key right so just giving you a couple of ways to lay it out but but I would probably do it this way because you're used to it put parentheses around it and when you subtract this bag of stuff um, it's like multiplying it all by a negative one isn't it and you gotta multiply everything by negative one to get negative three x squared and then negative one times negative four x plus four x negative one times negative seven plus seven so we've applied the subtraction and now we just combine like terms right so we put these two together negative one plus seven one negative seven positives plus six right then we've got seven x plus four x makes 11x okay we've got x squared minus 3x squared what does that make by the way that's a plus 11x x squared minus 3x squared is a minus 2x squared right okay so please try this one yourself press pause you're going to subtract this from this okay press pause and do this one yourself negative 3x squared plus 2x minus 4 from negative 5x squared minus x plus 8 okay okay I hope you've pressed pause and tried it so I guess we could we're subtracting this from this so we're starting with this guy and then the negative 3x squared plus 2x minus 4 is going to be subtracted but we can't just subtract the first term we don't just subtract the negative 3x squared you gotta subtract the whole thing okay so you're multiplying it all by negative 1 right so what does that give you so negative 1 times negative 3x squared would be a positive 3x squared negative 1 times positive 2x negative 2x negative 1 times negative 4 would be positive 4 right? so 
So I've subtracted it, and then we just combine like terms. Okay. So eight and four. Or I guess you could start with the x squared either. Negative five x squared plus three x squared, negative two x squared. Negative x and negative two x. Combine these. Negative three x, right? Eight and four. Twelve, right? Example three. You can probably do this yourself. Press pause and do this one. Add negative 2x squared minus 5x plus 3 to negative x squared plus x minus 4. So for adding this to this, we're just adding all of the negative 2x squared minus 5x plus 3 to this here, right? I mean, that's just multiplying everything by a positive 1, which we don't really need to do, because it'll just leave it the same. We're just adding all of this to this, right? So, negative x squared added to negative 2x squared gives what? Negative x squared is the same thing as negative 1x squared, and that gives negative 3x squared. What's x added to negative 5x? That's just the same thing as 1x added to negative 5x, which is negative 4x. How about negative 4 added to positive 3? Four negatives, three positives, negative one. 